Good morning, everyone. Yan, I think there's a problem with the PC. One moment, please. Give me two seconds. Um, this video is recorded live, so please, uh, sh uh, if you wanna watch the discussion right away, please move forward around 25 minutes if you're watching the replay. Let me give me just one moment, really quick. I'm I wasn't able to share the video as it to my Facebook. All right. Um, my Facebook is the PC is kind of freezing right now and so i'm gonna read your comments in a while joe joe Ligales, good morning sir lloyd and larka good morning um hops good morning sir lloyd sal na ba si sec chart request po sana si on eei p core and clc i'll write these down all right today we're gonna be talking about darvas box pano how do how do we trade uh darvas box this was a request by one of the viewers yesterday just forgot to see no but thank you so much for recommending this if you have any re uh any requests na pag -usapan natin in the future write it down in the comments so that we, we can consider that para may topic po tayo in the coming days so i prepared today darvas box i'm going to teach you how to trade using darvas box uh it's a momentum trading strategy very useful we do this uh, we use this in our forex trading um um, lang, ha? Something's wrong. Something's up with the stream. Right, so, yan. um, while this is happening, um, let me just share my video really quick on my Facebook uh, page. And kasi hindi ko pa na, na share. Yeah. One moment, please. Give me two. Uh, one, one minute. All right. So, ato din ang problema. Basta in edit ko yung link. I always edit the link so that kasi nahihirapan yung mga tao na nanonood na replay. What I post is the live link kasi. And then when I post the live link, um yung mga re uh, hindi na lang makikita yung replay. So I have to find the overall comment I mean the uh what do you call this um the overall post so that I can copy paste the right one. Ayan, and I edited it yesterday, so replay na link ang linagay ko, so nahirapan tuloy ako. Um, here it is. Mm -mm -mm -mm. We are live. I'm gonna be posting this. Lindy grind. The title. Alright, so just pu publishing it really quick. Um, publish it published it to my wall. Yeah, then guys, kindly po share the video to ano to your Facebook walls para at least yung mga kaibigan nyo mas spark yung curiosity nila when it comes up uh, sa, sa stock market, right? And then sa mga trading groups din niyo para sa mga newbies na um kailangan ang guidance na ganito. Um this will really help them a lot. Posting it to the Billionaires Club. And then I'll also post it to the call financial page. Kasi maraming tao, maraming new wisdom. Alright, group name is call financial. Alright, so ayan. Alright, I'm gonna go back to you guys. Ayan, um, hops. Ayan, uh, dealer care. Good morning, sir. Good morning, Nanette. Uh, Julius sir now, good morning sir Lloyd and Laika. Pa shout out naman sa anak ko sa Liam Sander and Kaiser Jael. Ang ganda ng mga names nila. Good morning sa inyo. Uh, good morning Julius and your ter to your family Liam Kaiser. Good morning sa inyo Dave. Guapo that is. Anyo nga sayo sir Lloyd and Laika. To my wife, good morning sa inyo Jan. Siguro napakalapit, napakalamig pa diyan ngayon. Uh, Marion so present present na po. Uh, lol, good morning. Um, sirs and ma'ams, Addison C, morning sir Lloyd. Maulan na umaga, kakatapos lang ng ulan dito sa amin. Uh, kanina, um, Renulfo first as my buntag coach, Lloyd and like a green Oog Picor, let's write these down Oi guys So, almost caught na tayo um, I remember around November I asked you to Magbodega na Ayat, Magbodega na kay PHA Kay CPG CLI 
ATN, ATN has already been um, going up. Si ISM rin noon ko bin- pinabudayga sa inyo. And lumipad na si ISM. Kasi bumalik na ngayon eh. Kasi nagtuda muna. Tapos um, and back na pala yun. Uh, anyways, majority of our bagger pick sila SSI. Lumipad na. So kung ka, AB, uh, andun pa si ABBA noon sa lista. Si CLI, uh, lumilipad na rin si CLI starting to form an uptrend. Um, si RLT na lang siguro ang wala pa. So, Um, congratulations sa mga nag-bodega. My recommendations were, there were for medyo long-term kasi bodega eh. Hindi siya parang position trade talaga. So, pag bodega kasi, even if it goes down, just keep buying. Cause, just keep buying because once it go, Because for sure, this stock, this stock is gonna go up. So, ayun. Um, yesterday, na-announce na CPG. Um, Mr. Dennis Uy is partnering up with CPG um, sa ibang projects sa, um, what do you call this, sa... Uh, Clark Global City. Napakaganda po nun. So, hopefully, nakinig po kayo at nagbodega ng CPG. Congratulations. Joe Marlim, um, good morning. Sir Lloyd, anyari po kay FNI and pacheck din po sa SEC and Ali. Ay nga, para guys, heads up sa SEC. Um, coal prices are going down so worldwide. So, SEC is gonna be affected with that. So, I think SEC is still gonna go down. It's a good company, nonetheless. Um, someone talk, I, I talked to one of the people in the um in the uh what they call this in the group chat yesterday. Um, Sir Lloyd, maganda naman si SEC as a company, eh, di ba? So yes, SEC is good as a company. It's just that um coal mining um pawala na kasi yung coal uh power plants ngayon. Eh. So not much investors anymore. And we are getting in a stock not if it's because not because of its current state but because of the possible future ng isang company and yan isa sa fundamentals natin na tinitingnan is uh, growing industry so majority of sa Semirara kasi is in the coal mining so that's gonna affect them a lot so I will from starting from this point uh, more or less I'm not gonna be recommending SEC anymore si FNI kahapon naglab- naglabasan ang mga foreign investors we can't do anything about that bumagsak siya so that's natural in stock market kaya nga po ang pinapagawa ko sa inyo is just test by the supports right supports are sideways trends right it's usually sideways trends and sideways trend is not your friend right the trend is your friend anong trend yun uptrend so mamaya na kayo maglalagay ng pera if uptrend na isang stock na malaki uh, malaking pera right um, pag sideways kasi we just wanna try the support out tingnan nyo nangyari kala SMC kala FB lumilipad na sa support ABS ABSB congratulations sir. I remembered that day talaga na I told you I think it's ABS CBN day to day kasi yun yung magandang mga positions and naglilipara na pati si Lopez noon ni-recommend ko and it's been unstoppable um, so yan um, if a stock goes down that's normal right you don't have to overreact to it you all the reaction you need to do is if you're trading it just cut your losses that's the only reaction you need to do really if you are trading it pag bumagsak yan you should be happy if ever investor ka diba so yan um don't worry um wag niyo pong going stressful ang ang trading niyo right um kahit na bumagsak yung isang stock na yan magkat loss lang kayo anyways your risk to reward ratio is gonna cover up for it if ever mag um maganda naman talaga ang technical analysis niyo okay so yan um Jomar Lim good morning sir and yare FNI hops sir would you know uh, kailan yung end nung 90 day Uh, post qualify ala hindi pa ako naka-update Jan Hop so I'll I'll try to uh, uh I'll try to look at that today Tristan Percadas good morning sir Lloyd and Laika sir kung papasok sa stock market ang Udena yung ISM na po ba gagamitin nila as conglomerate company or magpapalista pa sila ng iba salamat po um yun na si ISM gagawin nila is backdoor they won't go through the hassle of IPO anymore Um, napaka-hassle po mag-IPO. So, ang ginawa nila is just, they just took over ISM and they changed the name to Udena. And then, yun na yun. At least, uh, ISM is already listed. All they need to do is just change the name of the company and they're in. And then, adjust, just adjust the number of stocks um, uh, uh, what do you call this? Um, that are on the, uh, that are in, pu- in the public. So, yun lang gagawin nila. Um, Tristan, Jerome Gamboa, good morning, coach. And like, a happy birthday po to my Eldest son, MJ, and good morning to Jerome's, uh, Jerome Gamboa's uh, son, MJ. Good morning sa'yo dyan. Didi and Tugs, please. Our Tugs is in my recommendations for today. Si Didi, kamustahin natin. Nga pala guys, here are my recommendations for today. And so, pag-usapan natin rin mamaya after ng um, 
after ng discussion natin about Darva's box, right? So, um, asa na ako? Um, Noel Minano, sino, Sir, good morning. Uh, FB, hold pa po ba? And thoughts on Del Monte. Alright, let's check it out. Si FB, if, uh, hold pa ba? Del Monte. Ayan, si FB, hold. Ayan, lagyan ko ng question mark para pagdaanan natin mamaya. Alam ko anong question. Rainer Edward Julieza. Good morning, Sir Lloyd and Laika. Ayan, good morning din. Sir, pwede pa sumali sa Feb2 seminar nyo yung zero knowledge na stock market? Yes, pwede, pwede po kayo sumali. Alright, um, don't worry. Once you register, I'm gonna give you links on pre- uh, my previous videos that you need to watch first. Pre- uh, just to prepare you uh, for the trading seminar. Right? Um, these are the basic seminars. Trends, breakouts, yung pinaka um, uh, heart of a beginner. Right? I'll give you a few videos para by, by uh, come February 2, you, you more or less know what we're gonna be talking about in the seminar. Speaking of the seminar, guys, February 2, napaka konti na lang po ng seats available. We only have 100 seats available um, for that seminar and we are now at 80 20 seats lang po so wag nyo po sasayangin 1,500 lang po ang uh, uh, what do you call this ang ang venue no 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 the the registration of the seminar 1,500 lang uh, the entrance per head na binabayaran is around 2,100 so it's very good Napasa, wag nyo po sasayangin right? sulit po yan uh Etor has been very what they call this uh uh what they call this uh very kind to us. Yeah, siya na po magbabayad ng majority ng entrance ninyo. Sa hotel pa lang ang mahal-mahal na ng per head diyan kasi may pagkain. So, if <laughs> that's thank Etoro, hindi po sasayangin yan. 15 alam po ang uh, ano and then there are only a few seats available. Um puno na po yung morning, afternoon na lang ang may slots na natira. So, bilisan niyo po. Right, um, Dana, Angela, good morning, Sir Lloyd and Laika, MPI po. Yeah. Um, Rainer, mag-register ka na ngayon. Huwag niyo po sasayangin yan. Mahaba-haba pa naman ng panahon. I'll give you a few videos on what to prepare. Panoorin niyo lang yung videos. Those are just around 20-minute videos um, for the basics, right? Dana, Angela, good morning, Sir Lloyd and Laika, MPI po. Let's write down MPI. Kamusta natin si MPI? Nirecommend ko si MPI kahapon, hindi pa gumalaw eh. But overall, still very good. I'd still say it's a buy. Um, DBY32 Good morning sir Web and tags po Kamasahin natin si Web uh, Web are sh- showing signs of bounces naman Hop sir Ano po maganda gawin sa JFC It went I went in at 267 Si JFC Nag all time high na naman eh As far as I can Remember uh, JFC 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 uh, Closed at 325 All time high For Jollibee um, With the lesson That we will be having today I'll tell you ano nga gawin mo. Darvas Box, gumawa ng, gumawa ng Darvas Box si uh, Jollibee. Eh. So, let's check it out. Katrina Urbano, morning sir. Uh, oh, uh, tagna natin si JFC. <clears throat> JFC, sulat ko si JFC ha. Alright, so, morning sir, URC, okay for trading on breakout. Thanks po. Alright, um, I did recommend URC doon sa baba when it started the bounce. And ayan na si URC, ang taas na. Uh, nung no, nag-consolidate pala siya, right? So, this is URC. Recommended it nung no, nag-consolidate siya dito, right here. And then, tumaas na. It did attempt a breakout. I strongly recommend wait for pullbacks. Ang hirap nito, right? Um, this is the, uh, this is the, asan na yung brush? So, this is the current resistance. It attempted to do a breakout yesterday. Um, nag-fail siya. So yeah, if it breaks out, then go ahead. Um, I'm, if you're trading it, yeah. Uh, with the lesson today, this is gonna be very helpful, Senyo. We're gonna be talking about Darvas box today, so makita nyo, ma apply nyo sa Darvas box jan. Right. So that's for Katrina. Sulat ko muna si ano si URC URC. Yan asan yon? Um, Noel Minano. Yan. Uh, if a stock has good technicals, do you take account its illiquid and number of trades before considering buying? Um, yan, um, I have a video about this. This is my trading bias. Ito yung bias na tinitingnan ko talaga before uh, before I trade a stock. I consider trading the stock. Number one is the fundamentals talaga. I look at the fundamentals of the company. If the company is has good fundamentals, good earnings, consistently earning, 
for sure, it's not gonna be illiquid, right? Marami pong mag-invest dyan and many are gonna be buying and selling it. So, that's my number one bias. And then, if it is cheap, number two, if it is cheap, then I'm gonna buy it. Cheaper than its fair value. Then the third bias ko is the technical analysis. The, if these three are hit, especially on this bias says, um, I'm gonna get in the stock. Those, these are the, my recommendations. Basically, yung mga nare-recommend ko sa inyo ngayon. And the past few days, are in my list na mga pasok sa bias ko. So that's what those, those are the stocks I consider trading. So mga illiquid the stocks, I don't bother. I don't waste my time on them, right? I don't want to research about them anymore. I don't have the time and dami kong stocks na pinapanood. Right? So um to answer Noah's uh, Noah's question, as much as possible I stay away from them, right? Um I just trade those good stocks instead. And dami naman diyan. Joanna Marie Mamon, good morning sir. TBGI and MRC. All right, he's down. TBGI and MRC. It's 8.35. So, um, siguro we'll start at around 8.45 for the discussion. Kasi medyo late ako na pag-start. Eh. Um, uh, good morning, sir. Okay, uh, tong topic na to. Thank you. Love you. Love you too. <laughs> TRJ Arbacosa. Right. Uh, Mar- Marlo Baroro. Good morning, my buntag. Sir Lloyd, bakit mga basura stocks ang paboritong dumugi ng mga chupitero? Ano kay target um, price ng SMC? 148 average ko. Right. Um, ang kagandahan kasi ng mga basura stocks is that konti lang ang stocks available to the public. Ang kagandahan pag konti lang ang bilis gumalaw ng stock, right? Ang bilis gumalaw kasi konti lang ang stocks available to the public. So it's very volatile once it uh, it catches volume like si ECP. Um kahit konting volume lang lumilipad na. That's because konti lang available na stock. So kaya gustong-gusto ng mga chupitera 'yan kasi gusto nila ng instant money. Eh. Don't worry. Darating din kayo sa Gen sa level na 'yan. Right? I, um may the audience, my target audience here are newbies. Right? I don't recommend that. Huwag na huwag po kayo maiinggit dyan. The moment na maiinggit kayo sa mga chupiteros and then do what they do right away, pagpeperahan lang kayo ng mga chupitero. Right? Huwag po kayo mag-chupitero kaagad. Um, there's a process here in trading. You're, you're, you Please respect the learning curve that you you will have. It's time and really money. Right? You will lose some uh, but those are lessons there. So, if you're still studying, Konting pera lang. At least yung pera na talo ninyo is konti lang. Right? Huwag ko yung magsushortcut. I always teach this to my students. Sana po mag-join kayo ng seminar. It's gonna be very helpful for your development, healthy development as a trader. Ask my students po. Yung mga students ko dyan, tanungin nyo po. Even if you can, uh, my students are gonna, you, eh, sino po mga students ko dito, please comment it on the chat room. Right? Um, if you can recommend the seminar for them. Joy, joy, good day. Sir Lloyd, CLC, EW, PCOR, and ISM. Um, oh, si Cecil pala. May, may question din si Cecil Pange. Um, good morning, Sir Lloyd. Now at ABA po. Thanks, Yan. Si now, maganda ang technical analysis ni Now. But I, I consider Now as overpriced kasi. So, I don't really recommend it right now. Si Now. <laughs> si ABA rin. Medyo overpriced na. People are just waiting for ABA's um, uh, dividends and magbibintahan na yan. So, I don't want to recommend that anymore. Lumipad na. Nag-take profits na ang karamihan dyan. So, Yon. Um, sir, uh, ano target price ni SMC? 148 average ko. SMC, this is from Marlo. Uh, 148 ang presyo mo. Good job sa pagpasok. Congratulations. Ang ganda ng pasok mo, uh, Marlo. Um, 162, we still have momentum. I want to show you the chart. Yan, guys. Congratulations sa mga pumasok sa S- SMC. This is what I told you nung bumagsak. Don't worry. I'll tell you when it is ready to buy. Kung pwede nang bilhin kung hinug na. And then we did recommend it here at the support. And there it is. Panalo na. Congratulations. Right now, I'm not seeing any weakness of the momentum and malayuluyo pa ang um, malayo-layo pa ang resistance so I don't want to recommend selling it yet if, but if you see a red here then you can sell that already the moment it closes below this green one pag nag-close yung presyo gumawa ng pula dito and then it closes below this around this area below this one and you can sell that, sell half lang. Kasi I think mag-uptrend pa yan so maganda naman si SMC overall Cecil, um now an ABA, I wrote them down. Daanan natin yan. Joy, Joy, good morning, Sir Lloyd. CLC, EW, PCOR, and ISM po. Alright, so I'll write these down. Joy, for, for this is from Joy, Joy. Alright, CLC, EW, PCOR, ISM. Sumasama yung po. 
Right, I'll just sort delete this kasi sumasama siya lagi eh. Anyways, um Joy Joy, you're welcome. Or oh, bumagsak bigla yung comments. Uh, it's 8:39. Oy, dami ng comments ah. Right, Joy Joy, Arvin Velasquez, eh, nga pala guys, again, um please share the video, paki-share po yung video sa Facebook walls niyo so that your friends can uh what do you call this? Um your friends will be curious what stock market is. That's going to be helpful for them and for us investors then naman. Um also please tra- share this to your trading group so that the newbies there will know about this program. Um if you haven't subscribed to my YouTube channel yet, please unsubscribe every day po my lessons tayo or if walang lessons, at least my recommendations, technical analysis lessons pa rin. So every day po my lessons tayo diyan so that you'll be updated. Please subscribe and then click on the bell button diyan. All right. I always wanted to say that kasi yun yung mga sinasabi ng mga YouTubers. <laughs> right. Uh, Alvin Velasquez, good morning sir. Uh, to all have a blessed trading day. God bless everyone. And Jan Angel Ekano, good morning sir Lord. Thank you for the knowledge. Your insights please for M wide. M wide is in my recommendations for today. You're welcome by the way. Um si Tugs then nasa recommendations ko today. MRC now. Tags in APL. I'll write these down. And and then full like. Good morning, uh, DBY32 sir. Pano po spot ng parabolic stocks? Uh, actually, insider yan eh. If you really wanna, you really you really wanna pick baggers. Sad to say, but you need insiders, right? Uh, some of some of my picks, I'm very blessed kasi nag-share po yung mga insiders natin ng information sa akin. Um, and then, I give it out to everyone for free. Sadly, yung iba, nagpapabayad for the insider news. As much as possible, we don't do that. Let's get rich together nga yan, diba? So, I give out these uh, informations for free. Um, if you want to spot parabolic stocks, insiders po, hanap kayo ng mga insider. For example, um, mayroon kayong kakilala na tatatrabaho sa loob ng BDO. Um, hingi kayo ng updates. Baka mayroong, mayroong gagawin si BDO na malaki. So, and then, yun. Um, basically, uh, basically yun. Uh, insiders talaga. Because you have to know the future developments of a company in advance. Especially in this, uh, in this time, uh, in this era of technology, information is very fast. Dati kasi, ang type of trading noon, investing is by the news. Pag may balita na maganda, bilhin na. Dito ngayon, sa sobrang bilis na information, na na pa yung rumor. So, sell on news na ang nangyayari. Buy the rumors na ngayon. So, yun. Um, as much as possible, meron tayong insiders. And then, fundamentals, especially for stocks na nagbo-bottom out. Pag nag-bottom out yan, tas ang ganda ng fundamentals, kita nyo naman si Jollibee, nag-bottom out dalawang beses. Tas, ang ganda ng fundamentals, that's how you spot parabolic stocks, right? Wait for these good companies to drop down sila SMPH, ng all-time high na naman. Um, wait for these stocks to drop down and then, pag nakita nyo mag-bottom out, this is the reason why I want you to save money. Save money, save money, mag-ipon ng pera, keep your buying power so that whenever you see a good stock bottoming out you have money to buy it kung may pera lang kayo noon when Jollibee went to 240 why in the world will you not buy Jollibee lang beses ko ni-recommend yun diba then we're winning in Jollibee because we have the money right so isa yun sa process uh, isa yun sa way for DB32 how do you spot parabolic stocks look for good companies that have bottomed out right so Yon, um, abangan lang. You don't have to win every day. You don't have to win right away. And that means stocks. Um, if ever naglili para ng ibang companies, you will always find stocks na nagbo bottom out pa rin. Like today, ang ganda ng position ni MY, si nila, nila tags. Right? So these companies are at good position. Si PSB nag bottom out. So these are good stocks, possible parabolic stocks yan. Kasi napakababa na nila. Lorwin, good morning, Sir Lloyd. Okay ba sumalo kay FNI? Nasa recommendation mo siya last week. Iwas muna. Thanks, yes. Um, guys, always follow the money. Whenever uh, maraming investors pumapasok, then that's when you get in. Um, right now, it's still very volatile. I don't want to play that position right, right away. So, I don't want to recommend FNI yet. Naglabasan kasi mga foreign investors. We don't, maybe may, may, may masamang news or anything we just don't know yet. So, I don't want to get into that. That's too aggressive. Hindi natin alam kung ano talaga meron. So, I want I really want it to stabilize first. Usually, kasi after after na bumagsak ang stock na ganyan, like this one, naglalabasan, and then magkakapanik, babagsak ng ganyan, baka ganyan rin ang mangyari kay FNI. Maglibasan at bumagsak, bumagsak na alalan nyo si B Corp. Diba? So, I wait for it to stabilize. And then when it stabilizes, 
uh, when it stabilizes, let's check if bottomed out na ba siya so before we want to recommend it. So stay away lang muna. Kay Doring, um, good morning. Will Rainer Valencia, what happened to M. Nicer? Good morning. Naglabasan lang ang mga investors. Roy and Anthony Castillo, good morning, Sir Lloyd. Nice topic, Tarvas Box. Good morning, Sir Lloyd. Paki shout out to my wife. This is from Leo Abad. Richelle Abad. Shane and Hicks, salamat. Good morning to you, Leo, and your family. Raymond Arano, good morning. Henry Villanueva, good morning, Sir. Um, study pa more. Uh, def- definitely, keep on studying. My biggest investment in stock market, really, is... Uh, Time, oras, oras to study. Love trading using Darvas boxes. Can't wait for your thoughts. Po sa concept ng Darvas box from Angelo Rubia. This is very good. All right, so it's eight forty-five. It's time to start our discussion. All right before we do that, we want to thank our sponsors, Two Trade Asia. Check out Two Trade Asia, Two Trade Asia dot com. They've been very generous in helping us continue this program of continuous learning for everyone, and not just in stock market but financial literacy. Right, they are supporting us in future movements natin to teach students, right? Yung mga graduating students, yun yung target natin. Um, we're talking about that already. So we're going to be visiting schools and it's going to be for free for the students. We'll, we'll, we'll teach them financial literacy. Napaka-generous po ng, ni 2Trade Asia. Check out 2Trade Asia, 2Trade Asia.com. Um, if you're looking for a broker na maganda, mabilis, 2Trade Asia, hands down. Um, they have a mobile app also na kahit nasa labas kayo, pwede kayo mag-trade para hindi kayo maipit. Right? And also, eToro. Check out eToro. Um, please use the link that I have on the video description. I have a link there. Personalized link yan. Kasi pag ginamit niyan, if you create an account using my link, they will know that I am reaching many people for them and they're gonna help us even more para may marami pa tayong sponsored na seminars. Mas marami pa tayong matulungan in the future. So, please create an eToro account. It's for free. If you create an account, that will still help me in return. Kahit gumawa lang kayo ng free account, at least man lang ma... ma- you can uh, you can check it out. Um, ayan, uh, speaking of eToro, uh, let me open my eToro. Ayan, so this is my eToro account, and so I'm keeping my port public. And so, uh, si Google, yung um, investment natin kay Google nagigain na. We're up six percent. So if you wanna copy my trades, you can copy trade me or copy trade other people. Just click on this button right here, nasa, nasa left side. If you click on that. And so you can look for traders there and their stats are stats are public. Yung statistics na makikita nyo po yung grades nila, scores, um, gains nila the past few months. Makikita nyo if they're consistent or not. Right? So and then you just copy that person. So now we're gonna be talking about Darvas Box. Ayan, yung slideshow ko. Darvas Box, the trading masterclass with Lloyd Bazaar. Um, actually, hindi ko pa to, hindi to part ng seminar ko. Um, cause ang seminar ko that is really how to start trading properly. Ito, it, these are momentum trades. Siguro in the future, uh, I'm gonna be starting a class for momentum trading na. So that might be something good. Uy, thank you so much. Um, Robert Anthony Tribiana for the super chat for the donation. If you want to donate and help the channel also, you can always click on the dollar sign beside the smiley and jan po sa chat room natin. Magshare if, if you wanna help continue the program and because everything here is for free um even the internet um everything is for free so if you want to help me um continue the program please uh, consider donating to the channel that will greatly help me in return in making this program possible and so darvas box the trading masterclass so what is darvas box right darvas box is a momentum trading strategy created by nicholas darvas that takes advantage of momentum of a stock either going up or going down. So it's really f- meant for momentum trading. And so and the theory works like this. Whenever a stock consolidates, yeah, so keyword is consolidate. You look for consolidation. It forms a high and low, right? It forms high and lows and then these points become top and bottom of the box depending on which side it breaks, then that's what you trade. It's either you trade it sa momentum pataas. If it goes down, you can use it for short selling. If ever may short selling na sa PSE. But um, this is how Darvis Box basically uh, uh, looks like. Right? So here is the theory chart. Ganito siya, itsura. So this is the stock. It starts uh, from a downtrend. It starts consolidating sideways. So it forms a bottom. May bottom tayo dito at this part. So I just want to click on this one. So we have a bottom right here. And then we have a top right here. So you form a box from that bottom to this top 
and then watch where it breaks out. If it breaks out from the on the bottom, I mean this case, unahin natin yung top. It breaks out at the top side, so you enter here, and usually magmomentum yan pataas, right? So you enter here, and then you gain from this to the top. Basically, pwede yung gamitin momentum for scalping, so pwede kayong pumasok dyan, and then a few percentage away, mag-sell ka agad kayo. You can do that. Right? Another side of this is the negative side. Here's a stock that's consolidating. It formed a bottom here, and then there's the top right there. So you form a box, you, then you wait where it breaks out. This case, it broke at the lower side, so you short sell the stock. Pag ni short kay dito, there it is, and you could have earned by short selling this stock since nasa baba ng um, box siya nag break out. Simple as that. It's very easy, but you have to, um, all, you really need to consider that it is momentum trading. This is for short term trading, super short term trading. Why? Take profits. So when do you take profits? Remind you, you have to take profits right away. Right? Profit taking happens when another back box is formed, meaning another consolidation happens. The moment you see Another consolidation, lumabas na po kayo, right? So it can happen around three after four, four candlesticks, three candlesticks. Magstart mag naman siya magform ng box, then you get out right away, right? So this is how it basically works. Um, on a real chart, I usually use um my fav um blue chips, right? Because mas maganda ang technical analysis when you play blue chips, mas obvious siya. So let me just remove that. So, remove lang natin to. So, here is uh, uh, JFC. Right? So, marami pa itong Darvas box si JFC. Eh, right? So, key, keyword kanina, when it consolidates right here. So, it started consolidating from this momentum. It's, it made a consolidation from this is the highest point and this is the lowest point. So, you make a box. All you need to do to make a box is go to this side right here. Itong brush na ito. Click on the little arrow. Go to the rectangle. Right? Rectangle. Rectangle. Depende kung nasan kayo. Sa amin, rectangle yan. Rectangle. <laughs> Anyways, uh, yun. Um, awkward if. Nasa gitna ako eh. I'm, I'm in the middle of being a Bisaya and uh, being a Tagal, uh, uh, being a Tagalog ne. Right? So, yun. Um, you create the box from this top to this, the bottom. And then, depending where, ganito yan. So, depending where it breaks. So, pa nag-break siya sa baba, you short sell it and you could have earned on this drop right away and then tingnan yun one two three after three candlesticks uh take profits na kaagad so there's that short momentum scalping nyo kaagad for three days to daily chart to eh. but it also happens in one minute charts here also here so here's another bottom and here's a top so this stock is now consolidating and sideways na siya so we now wait for where it will break out right so antay lang antay and then there it is it broke out at the top side so you enter at 250 and then you could have earned this one right here, momentum yan, kaagad. So, ang ganda sa ng earnings nyo, kaagad. Right? So, there's momentum there. And then, you wait for it to consolidate again. Here's not, um, hindi ka anong clear ang consolidation dyan. So, here's a clear consolidation, mas, mas lesser volatility. So, top and the bottom, and then there's our box. Now, we just wait for kung saan siya mag-break. And then, it broke at the bottom side. So, you short sell that stock and then you could have earned on this on this drop right here. So here, we have another consolidation. We created a bottom and a top and then we we measure that, uh, no, we create a box on that consolidation and then we wait for it where it breaks out. It broke out at the top side and then there it is. Then, you could have gained here. So here is our sell point. Dapat mag-sell na kaagad tayo because we're seeing a consolidation on this side already. So sell na tayo dyan. Then we create another box and then there it is top and bottom we just wait for it where it goes up uh, where it breaks out once it breaks out at the top side and there it is super short term lang po right so it did consolidate again here and then created uh broke out if you create a box here this is another box uh right here the top the bottom and top is there and then you just wait for it where it will break and nag break siya sa baba actually and so you know where this is going you could have short sold this if ever me short selling na and then there it is right and then here's another consolidation top and bottom we just wait for it where siya mag break out and there it is nag break out just sa taas so we buy that then you could have used darvas box for this trade that's basically what darvas box is it's very easy um high chance of probability of winning 
very usable in momentum trades especially pag nagde day trade na kayo P- pwede rin namang gamitin sa um sa position trades na daily charts um this is actually one day chart diba one day chart yan you can do this also for very for short term trades if you're uh, if you're at only asking for one is to two risk to reward ratio this is very good uh trading for you right so you can use the breakout as your support right so breakout kasi yung strategy mo dito you use this line as your support if it breaks around 2 to 3% below that uh resistance um pag nagbreak na siya pababa so that means the darvas box failed um you just cut loss below this previous resistance which is now your current support so that's how Bar- darvas box uh darvas box work um if you have any questions about the strategy please let me know right um let me check out um yeah Daniel Cero na con- na conscious si Sir Lloyd makokonso mo muna si Aba Sir Lloyd magkakonso ba muna I think so mag uh, magkakonsolidate muna yan si Aba kasi um wala nang pumapasok na ano eh Sir STI ba pwede ma-apply it is applicable to all stocks Sir question lang if candle formation yung kino-consider niyo po ma-identify yung top and bottom ng box yes it should be candle kasi Support and resistance ang ginagawa natin dito eh. So support and resistance, you have to know where the stock it went before it bounced. So at this point dito, for example, this one, it went as low as this point. So this is your support. So most probably it's gonna bounce at that area. So you have to consider the the wicks also of the candlestick. Can I even say what are your thoughts about CPG partnering with ISM? CPG will work on the dark pro- on the Clark project. Yes, CPG is really good. That's why pinapabudega ko po kayo niyan. Um... Um, good morning, Sir Lloyd from Bernadette. And morning to my daughter, Jasmine. Good morning sa inyo, Jan. So, yeah, um, that's this lesson about, um, yes, um, Jan, Angel, Ekano, parang support and resistance lang po pala. Yes, it's basically support and resistance. Um, ginawa lang natin box, right? So, more or less, it's the same, right? Um, very short term nga lang, right? Short term, ang support and resistance kasi we consider may, um, major supports like this one right here. And then, sa support and resistance, the theory behind support and resistance is if it has to be hit twice at the very least uh, to make sure that it's a good support. In this case, kahit isang beses lang na hit, um, that, will be our, that will be our box na, right? Uh, if you use this for day trading, what indicators do you use to exit the trade? Actually, if you see another consolidation, you get out right away. This is best for scalping. Sino bang pinakamataas na galaw last, ano, um, last Friday, oh, yesterday? So, ATN. This is ATN. So, let's let's try to apply a Darvas box in the one-minute chart. Right? So, Darvas box, one-minute chart. Yan. So, here. Um, we have consolidations on this area right here. Darvas box, you can Darvas box this box right here. So that's the highest point and that's the lowest point. There it is. Once it breaks out, there it is. Ang ganda na. Right. So we have another box at around this area. Um, we have a low point and a high point. There it is. It is going up. So pwede kayo makapasok dyan. Um, look for other consolidations really. Um, here's another consolidation. Um, this is the highest point. This is the lowest point. It did not go break at the upside, so bumagsak siya. There it is, bumaba. And then it formed a consolidation before it went up again. Um, let's look for other consolidations here. So here's another consolidation for ATN. Uh, this consolidation point is um, so this is the lowest point, um, lowest point and highest point, right? So wherever it breaks out. Um, it, uh, that's where the stock is going and then in this case bumaba siya here so it's still applicable kaso nga lang ang nipis ni ATN eh. let's see no ba ABSP one of the biggest winners then last Friday um, hard to say right hard to hard to call this one uh, all stocks let's look for a good stock na ano ABS yeah it's ABS there it is very good hmm, hard to call this one out Right. Walang consolidation na ano eh. There's consolidation here but they're both inside the box so it's really hard to call. Um, sino pa ba? Iba. CPG, the most volatile last Friday, uh, yesterday. So let's see if we can, ang ninipis kasi ng numbers eh. So it's really hard to call. Um, napakaganda nito sa foreign markets kasi ang kapal ng, ano, ang kapal lalaga ng movements ng market. So here it is. Um, nervous box on this side. You can use this top where did it go? No, wala. 
Alright, let's try SMC. Here it is, consolidation. Here's a consolidation of the top point to the lowest point. Here's a consolidation of the top point, lowest point, and then there's this, the breakout right there. So this is a consolidation. Again, um, the term you need to really concentrate on is the consolidation. This is a consolidation, and you just wait for it to where it breaks out, and there it is. Basically, breakout strategy pa rin. So here's a box right here, bottom and top, and then there it is. Umakit siya ng ganyan, and then take profits na because it's already starting to make uh, um, it's already starting to make a box again here. This one right here is a possible box, so you should take profits there already. Very short term lang for intraday trading, right? Sir Ali, nag-conso, so applicable do you po barabas for weekly or monthly chart? Yes, it's it's applicable, but that's those are very, uh, very slow charts already, so I don't want to recommend it on here because this is basically momentum as much as possible. Maximum you need, you want to use this is one day charts, right? Um... Pila ka candles sulaton. As long as it is consolidating, you don't really wait for how many candles. If you see that this is there's a bottom and there's a top already, that's already a box right there. So once it breaks out, pasok, pading ganyan, right? So you don't have to really count for as many house how many candles. As long as it makes a bottom and a top and it consolidates, that's already a uh, that's already potential. Um, ano? Uh, that's already potential na. Um, Darvas box PHA ceiling na kaagad grabe um, is, uh, I'm not sure if babalik na kaagad si PHA ngayon but if you can post the ano of PHA um, if someone can post the target opening price of PHA let me know here magkano na kasi hindi ko na open yung trading platform ko right so that's Darvas box I hope you learned from this lesson, this is very good for momentum trade. You, this just needs practice, and you can use you can use this in one day charts. Start with one day charts, po, right? One day charts, pa nga hindi nyo mapanalo, no? Pa kaya yung mga one minute charts na yan. Don't be greedy, right? Right. So I'll go now to my recommendations. Um, tignan ko lang. All right. Sige, so now we go to pizza. Yeah, num uh, isa sa mga picks ko today. Not really uh, my number one pick. Let me open my technical analysis tools. Volume here. So pizza, good volume and that bounce. Ang laki ng volume ng bounce na ito ni pizza. So this is a this is a very good sign. I think this is gonna be a very good uh, support for pizza, right? So you can use this area as your support right here. So pizza is good. Good volume, very good volume on this band. So, I'm recommending pizza for today. CHIB and China Bank. And si China Bank naman, kakabounce na sa MA20 and the volume is increasing. So, I'm still recommending China Bank. Remember, I recommended China Bank on this bounce right here on this area. Dito, diba? Recommended CHIB there. Congratulations sa mga pumasok. Makatya, nag-Bollinger Band Trigger, bumaba sa MA20, and there it is again. And then we have good volume on the bounces. So, uptrend nito guys. The trend is your friend. This is your friend now. CHIB and M-Wide. Um, M-Wide naman, uh, nag-engulfing pattern. Right? This is an engulfing pattern. This is one of my lessons sa Bollinger Bands. I really love this pattern. Right, so we have a good recovery right here for M wide. Overall, M wide is still very cheap. Right, na makamura pa niyan ni M wide considering the price that it traveled. Um, good price action. Uh, let me check out the RSI. Ito sa isa sa rason bakit ko po nire recommend. Um, prices support is going up. RSI is going down. And if we open our cheat sheet, if you don't have access to this yet, please prepare your screenshot. Um, I'm going to be opening the cheat sheet. And So this is called the Divergence Cheat Sheet. Sa mga newbies dyan, sa mga wala pa nito, screenshot. Yan, na-screenshot nyo na ha. <laughs> Alright, so here, um, the price is, the support is going up. And then there's a bounce. You just wait for the bounce. That's the entry point. But RSI is going down. The support of RSI is going down. That's a bullish. That's a hidden divergence. The bullish. M wide. 
What do you see? Support is going up. We have a bounce. RSI is already going down. So um, divergence-wise, it's bullish. So I'm recommending it for today. Diba? Simple lang ng technical analysis. Uh, so technical analysis is very simple, guys. All you need to do is follow it. Ang importante po sa trading is your execution, which is, which is what I can teach you more in the seminar. So please join my seminar. Meron ako seminar this Saturday, Friday and Saturday, 8 in the evening. Um, sa mga hindi maka-join sa February 2 sa Manila, February 2 po, join that. If you can join that sa Manila, right? If hindi, I have an online seminar this Friday and Saturday, 8 p.m. Send me a message if you want to join that. We'll talk more about execution. Napakaganda po ng execution. Um, PHA, 60% opening up, uh, 0.60 ang opening. Um, wow, grabe. So, ceiling kagad si PHA. <laughs> Congratulations! Sabi ko sa inyo, magbodega ng PHA. I told you so, and I told you so. <laughs> I don't want to say that, but yeah, it's it. Sometimes it feels it really feels good when you're right. So these are the moments that we are right. So let's celebrate. <laughs> so yun um sayang naman um those who just followed me recently, sana napasok nyo noon if ever puma uh, if ever nagfollow na kayo noon. So hopefully in the future makita rin tayo. Don't worry, I will share whatever information I have. Hindi po tayo madamot dyan. Also, nga pala, Dubai, um, UAE, uh, Dubai, and Abu Dhabi. Right? February 15 and February 16, let's sharpen your trading. We'll talk about your trading. I'm gonna teach you how to trade. Send me a message if you wanna join that. It's gonna be at uh, 12 p.m. to 5 p.m. sa Dubai. Um, ang venue sa Dubai is the Pinoy... Fiesta? Right. Fiesta Pinoy. Right. So, and then, sa Abu Dhabi is, I'm still arranging the venue sa um, the Lomi House. I forgot the name. Um, pero I'm just gonna be finalizing the venue. Anyways, madali lang yan. So, if you are free, if you wanna learn how to trade, join that. Um, send me a message if you wanna join that. February 22, that's a Friday again. The next week is Qatar naman po tayo. The venue is still being arranged, but it's gonna be a very good venue also. Please send me a message so that I can give you the, ano, uh, I can give you the uh, the details guys FOMO na yan ha si PHA wag nyo na pong hahabulin yan right wag nyo pong hahabulin yan please don't don't go after it right so hopefully nakapasok kayo dun sa baba just wait for it to pull back again and then pwede kayo pumasok in the future but right now wag na po right so wag po kayo magpapaingit sa PHA <laughs> right, so um, yeah, I'm a FOMO dyan, hindi makakasakay. That's what I, I keep on telling you guys. That's why I want you to enter at the bottom. At least kung may mangyaring swerte, hindi ko yung maingit. Same with ISM, right? I want you to test buy. Test buy lang. Just in case it goes down, you can always average. Ang alam naman natin na lilipad yan eh. Problema, if hindi kayo pumasok kasi niyabangan nyo sa baba, wala kayo magagawa. Kung lumipad yan, patay, hindi kayo makakasakay, mafofomo lang kayo. Right. So, yan, um congratulations again sa mga nakapasok kay PHA. Um M wide one of my picks for today. Um PSB, right? Let's talk about PSB. Ang ganda ng technical analysis ni PSB, all right? Um we are on that support. We're forming a support right here in this area. We are seeing divergence already. The support is sideways, pero ang RSI is paakyat na. Um volume is starting to pick up on this area. So, what are you waiting for? Test out. Test by na. Test by na sa PSB. Just in case it goes up. Right. Next up is CLI. CLI up uptrend po. Um, now bouncing at MA20. You can test out MA20 if you want to. This is a very good company. We are seeing an uptrend right there. So that's our entry point again for CLI. Just in case it fails, then just cut loss below MA20. So ganyan lang naman talaga ang trading. Um, there's uh, momentum trading really needs spike of volume turnover and preferably six months high breakout are better than uh, are better than 52 weeks para makita na merong yeah packet of price. Carol, paano po mag-register sa seminar nyo this Saturday? Please send me a message sa Facebook page ko Financial Freedom 101 or to my Facebook page pwede na mag send si Lloyd Bazar. Hanapin nyo lang po dyan. Right. Um, but make um as much as possible use my Facebook page para hindi po ma-fake kasi may, may nag-fake po nung Facebook ko ngayon. Baka fake po yung masenda ninyo yung message. So, Facebook page na lang po. Mas maganda. Magpa-FOMO talaga. Abang na lang sa next bouncer, Lloyd. Salamat po. Yes, wag nyo na. Just let it go. Remember guys, when people are celebrating, that's a sell signal. 
right? Pag nakita niyo mga tao, ah, nagse-celebrate kami dito. That's a sell signal, right? Just put that in mind always. Whenever people are celebrating, it's a sell signal. Ulitin-ulitin ko sa inyo yan. Right? Good morning po, Sir Lloyd. Michikoy here. Uy, hi Michikoy. She joined the seminar last Saturday. Um, pwede po mo mag-join ulit seminar mo dito sa Manila. Yes, you can. You If you want to, you want you can. Right? So just register. Wag mo FOMO. Uh, sir, yung insights sa ISM 7 MPI, daanan natin yan. Uh, napakadaldal natin. Right? So, CLI, tapos na tayo. Tags naman. Si Tags, I'm recommending Tags today. Right? Price action-wise, it's forming a good support. So, I think this is good for Tags. Overall, the fundamentals of the company is good. Ang ganda po ni Tags as a company. So, position na habang mura pa si Tags. Right? This is a very good company to get into. Right? So, Tags still recommending it. FDC. Right? Si FDC, may... Re- um, I'm be recommending FDC today kasi meron din disclosure sa FDC pero baka matabunan ni PHA maghabulan ng mga tao kay PHA baka hindi makagalaw si FDC but overall FDC is still okay right um somehow um this um the news might move it right I'm not recommending FDC purely for technicals kasi <coughs> excuse me overall nagbreak na yung uptrend niya it's just that merong news kasi ngayon si FDC check that out um baka baka gumalaw si FDC. So, you can check out FDC today. Pwede nyo po i-darvas box yan. So, FDC. Right. So, yan. Um, those are my picks. I'm gonna go to your uh, requests. May nag-request about EEI. I've been recommending EEI for how many days. The support is still holding. Ganyan talaga ang trading, guys. Especially for position trade. I recommended it here and here. Ayan. So, antay lang tayo. Most probably, gagalaw na yan. Ang ganda ng numbers ni EEI. I think this is bottomed out already. Ang ganda na ng RSI ni EEI. So, anytime soon, that should go up. Upo-upo lang. Right? Patience lang. Um, P-Core. Right, so, P-Core naman. Ayan. So, nagsusustain pa rin. But you see the spike and the volume already. Pataas na pa yung volume niya. This is a signal. That's the volume. I'm talking about the volume. Ha? This is a signal that people are already starting to accumulate. Nag-iipon na kay Picor ang mga tao. Ayaw lang bumili ng mas mahal. That's okay. Because anyway, sideways pa naman eh. Diba? Mamaya na kayo bumili ng mahal pag uptrend na siya. Wala na kayo magagawa dyan. For right now, wala pang momentum. So, magbodega ng magbodega. Um, next kay Picor is CLC. It's CLC. Uh, CLC is good. This is okay. Uh, MA20 is holding. Support is holding. So, ang recommendation ko for CLC is really try to consider CLC for long term. Ang ganda ng mga investments ni CLC. This is a good company to get into. Um, somehow, MA20 is holding. Uh, on tayo lang tayo ng green before you wanna get into CLC. Alright? Um, Nickel, sir. Ang energetic ngayon ni sir. <laughs> Comments on IRC. Thanks po. Alright. Um, nakatulog na maayos eh. <laughs> It's CLC. Um, next question is, ulayin natin si Green. Green. Alright, 9.12. And So, oops. Green is showing us good volume. Idarvas box nyo to, guys. Alright, so, pwede nyo idarvas box si Green. Um, yung sa darvas box, pag nag-break out niyan si Green, at mag-sustain yung breakout. This is the lowest point. And then, this is the highest point. Actually, ito yung lowest point niya. Eh. For, for this consolidation, this is the lowest point it has. So, nag-breakout na siya. Pag nag-breakout yan, pwede nyo pasukin sa green. Alright, just wait for the breakout. Volume, this is backed up by volume. Ang ganda ng volume ng green. So, most probably, it's gonna break out. But, wait for the breakout. Yan. So, yan. So, pwede yan. Si green. Um, just wait for the breakout. Um, DD. Alright, so Double Dragon somehow, somehow, somehow is, oh, sorry, somehow is forming a support. I really want it to, I really want for to wait Double Dragon, for Double Dragon here sa support niya, uh, MA20, just to lower my risk. I want to lower my risk as much as I can. Medyo malayo-layo pe, right? The support is negative 5% away, so I don't want to recommend that. Yet, there's a, there's a possible support here. So... Kinda shaky. It's really hard to go after these stocks. Na. So I want it to go near ME20. At least mas malit ang risk ko. Uh, always take into consideration your risk to reward ratio. May resistance tayo dyan. Yes, you are seeing a support right here. This might be a support. But consider, always consider your risk to reward ratio. We are seeing resistances at this area right here. So maliit lang ang risk to reward ratio natin dyan for sure. So I don't want to trade that as much um, anymore. 
And since maliit, mamaya na, pag bumaba pa yan sa MA20 at least, my risk-to-reward ratio will be bigger. That's when I will be trading it. Um, sir, cut loss ba ang ISM is at 5.13? Um, I don't know. Depende. Um, depende on, on what your purpose is in getting into the stock. If your purpose in getting into the stock uh, is for long term, I don't recommend cutting losses. Pababain nyo po po yan because you wanna buy more. I tell you, you wanna buy more. Third telco yan guys. Telco pa lang, panalo na. Diba? So, but not that telco, hindi lang telco ang project ni, ni ISM, right? Uh, see you then. Uh, Anjan Payne Clark, napangandang project niyan for the long term. So, if you're in it for long term, just buy more. If you're trading it, then you, yes, you can cut loss. So, your ideas po on DMW, DMW, I did recommend DMW at the bottom. Uh, dito sa baba and then DMW wala na lumipad na so I don't wanna recommend DMW yet I wanted to pull back first before I wanna uh, recommend that again um right so yeah may may comment dito B core Sir Lloyd maraming naipit dahil sa failed cup and handle pattern yan so B core kama sa natin si B core yan so kasi guys ganito yan eh right uh, let's talk about that this pattern so right uh, B core is forming a cup and handle right if you know cup and handle diba cup and handle the entrance is this breakout from the handle dito yan pinapasok hindi yung uy nagka cup handle na siya most probably aakyat yan if you think it's gonna break make a cup and handle and trade it then that you're 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 doing a mistake remember trade what you see not what you think if you think this is gonna break out a cup and handle pattern then you already failed wait for it to do a breakout antayin niyo po yung breakout the breakout is the uh, the best entry point if you're using a breakout cup and handle pattern trade what you see not what you think right uh sir Lloyd, how about ism hello po just join how about smph po si smph nag all time high just wait for it to do a retracement if you want to um it's a good company kasi nga lang medyo mahal na ngayon um asan tayo green di di del monte fb hold ito si fb there's a question about fb um, hold pa ba si FB? I'm not seeing any weakness yet for FB. Right? Congratulations sa mga pumasok kay FB. Did recommend FB here. And panalo na. Congratulations. And then, um, if, where is our sell point when we see that the momentum is failing? Um, whenever it closes above the, the Bollinger Band, that means it still has momentum. So, wag po muna. Right, the market is bullish. So as long as it's outside the band, it closes outside the band, there's still momentum. If you see that it closes inside the band, then that is when you consider selling half. So right now we're not seeing any weakness yet. So hindi mo natay magsasell half. Nerdpack, SSI, and PIP. Thanks. Alright. Uh no. Um. Eto pala si Del Monte. The first next question is Del Monte. And um Del Monte Pacific Limited. Um, ayo ko talaga kay Del Monte so noon pa eh, right? So Del Monte fundamentals wise, uh third quarter maganda naman third quarter niya. Right? So yeah, getting better naman yung numbers ni Del Monte. I really don't want to recommend Del Monte, but technical analysis wise, just wait for it to do a breakout if you want to. Right? Mer meron tayong resistance diyan. Just wait for it to do a breakout before you wanna get in Del Monte. Right? Um Guys, what do you want to discuss tomorrow? Just post it in the comments. Um, next up is Del Monte. Next is MPI. MPI. Alright, MPI. Ayan, it's MPI. Still doing okay. Overall, MPI is still very cheap. Still okay. Um, keep buying MPI actually. I recommend MPI for long term. So, you don't have to trade MPI. I long term yun lang po yan. Next up kay MPI request is web. Alright, kamustahin natin si web. Right. Pasensya na guys, oh, um, I know you've been posting more um, for charting, pero um, unahin natin yung mga nag-unang request kanina. Paul Yan, um, Ambo Box, baka po pwede cup and handle ang topic bukas. So yes, 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 yes. Um, we'll talk about cup and handle bukas. I'll write that down. Cup and handle. Alright, yun yung pag-uusapan natin. Hindi cup and handle ng tanduay. <laughs> yes, um... Web, web, web. Actually, it's looking okay. Eh? We're, we're still on the uptrend pattern kay web. Um, volume is already picking up. Uh, I just want web to stabilize again kasi nagda-downtrend pa. We're working against the downtrend. So, medyo shaky pa. In the future, I'll, I'll recommend web when I see that web is, 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 
giving us good uh, good areas. Right now, I cannot see any position for Web as of the moment. Baka bumaba pa sa main support niya. You don't have to be aggressive kay Web as a medyo shaky pa ang position ni Web. We want to see consistent at least two years na consistent numbers ni Web kasi medyo shaky pa siya kakasimula niya palang ulit. <coughs> Right, so next up is my question about nawala yung lista ko. JFC. Right, si JFC nag all-time high. Now it's at 3 to 5. Congratulations sa mga pumasok kay JFC. Um, yung kaibigan ko, ingit na ingit. Binarat niya kasi si JFC dito sa 244. Sabi niya, bababa pa yan. Hindi pumasok. Ayan, 3 to 5 na. Shout out to Jerome. <laughs> Ayan, um, anyways, um, JFC, all-time high. I don't want to recommend that. Guys, the concept of investing is buying stocks which is on sale. All-time high. Meaning, it's the most expensive the, uh, the price has reached. So, you're basically going against that concept. Binibilin mo siya ng mahal. I don't want to recommend Jollibee right now. Medyo mataas na po si Jollibee. Even though, 340 po ang possible na ano natin sa kanya. Target profit natin sa kanya. So, there's still room to earn in Jollibee. Pero napakaliit na lang po. Um, you can use Darvas Box if you want. Pero super short term na lang po ang trading nyo dyan. Kasi pwede pa umakit yan. Pero lapit na ng 340. Liit na lang. Right? Dati, hindi pa natin makita yan noon. No, nandito pa yun sa babae, di ba? Remember, dito hindi natin makita ang 340 kasi up pa tayo ng up. Pero ngayon, andun na. So, ayun. <clears throat> so, I don't wanna recommend JFC anymore. URC. Oh, gutom na ako. Kain ako after this. <laughs> it, URC, we talked about URC. Uh, medyo mataas na si URC. You can wait for it to do a pullback, really. Or, um, siguro breakout na lang for URC. <clears throat> TBGI, TBGI. Time check, it's 9.21. Um, sir, please discuss ATR strategy. IRC and or sir, sir, if nag close inside the band, pero green candle, is it considered weakness or sell signal? Po? Yes, if you are riding momentum, the moment it closes inside the upper Bollinger band, that's already a signal that momentum is dying down. Momentum momentum indicator kasi ang Bollinger bands rin. Eh. If it's above the Bollinger band, then that's strong mom momentum for the stock. So, yun. Uh, asa na ako? TBGI. TBGI is starting to form a support. So, that's good. Um, let's see. If ever, ang problema kay TBGI, napakalapit na na resistance. Eh. So, best, better if you just do a breakout strategy for TBGI before you wanna get in TBGI. Right? So, until lang natin um, breakout the TBGI or if it makes a support again, baka bumalik sa support and then mag bounce, um, and bounce at this area, that will be a confirmation of the support. So, that's our entry point for TBGI. So, right now, wala muna tayong entry point for TBGI. Let it go. MRC? Mm -hmm. Hard to tell. This is a good signal for our uh, IRC, MRC. Nasa loob pa naman siya ng Bollinger Bands. So, this might be a good support, right? Um, let's see. If mag-green ulit si MRC, you can test that out. If it's gonna go green today, pwede nyo pasukin si MRC. Um, next up kay MRC. Is na ako? Now, yan, si now, 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 now. Yan, si now, bounced at MA20. Right, hindi ko lang ni-recommend si now kasi yung volume is kind of shaky. But if you are, if you have a bias in now, yes, you can enter now. And then use MA20 as your support. If it breaks around negative 3% of that support, yet negative 3%, then you just cut loss. That's it. So, pwede nyo pong pasukin si now. It's just that for me, it's kind of overpriced already si now. Not seeing any significant movement for now um, of, of the company as of the moment. 4 pesos should be the max of now. So, kind of shaky for me. Um, asa na ako? Now, ABBA. Ay, question about ABBA. Yun. Um, ABBA naman, MA20 bounce, right? So, you can use MA20 for your, uh, as your uh, as your entry point, if gusto niyo po pong pumas pumasok kay ABA, kaso nga lang, sobrang, sobrang laki na ng gains kay ABA, right? So, it went as high as 200%. That's, that's a lot of growth already. So, wala pong forever na uptrend. So, baka matapos na yun si ABA. I don't wanna recommend that anymore. We're seeing weaker, weaker ups kasi dito on the longer trend. So, pababa na yung... Uh, pababa ni RSI niya. So, I don't wanna recommend ABBA anymore. If you still wanna get in, use MA20 as your support. Kasi may chance pa na maumakit yan kasi may may dividends pa. Right? So, ABBA, 
CLC EW, CLC, we already talked about CLC EW, and CEW, wait for it to do a breakout before you wanna get in. The best entry point was the MA20 for EW. So let's wait for it to do a breakout before you wanna enter again. Um, Pcore, um, still Pcore is still holding the support by as long as the support holds for Pcore. ISM, say si ISM naman for short term trading. I don't wanna recommend ISM yet for short term trading. Bef may maybe it's gonna go back down to support. Maybe it's gonna form a support anytime soon. So this just means na tapos ng uptrend ni. ISM. Um, but still, ISM is a good company to get into. right? If you see a bounce, pwede po kayo mag-test buy na kay ISM. Palapit na po on January 31. Once in the middle of that uh, discussion, may magandang news na lumabas, at least makasakay na kayo. Hindi tulad ni PHA na makipaghabulan pa kayo ngayon na lumilipad na. Right? Um, ano nga sa'yo, Sir Lloyd from Aldrin? More power. Thank you so much. Um, si Bloom, antayin lang natin yung bounce ni Bloom. Right? Um, Hello sir, ano insights nyo? Ayan, unahin muna natin yung lista. It's 9.25. Last one lang guys. After ISM is M-wide, MRC, now tags and APL. Ito, si APL ang last natin sa lista. Pasensya na if hindi ko po masasagot lahat um, as much as we can, uh, we try to do it. Just don't join our chat room. Marami po magtutulungan mag doon. Si APL, alright, very good. Bollinger Band, and then there's the MA20 bounce. This is good. Good find, APL, Apollo Global. Uh, kaso nga lang, yun nga, my bias is against it. But technical analysis wise, I can I can always be wrong. You cannot deny the uptrend here. So if you want to enter APL, use MA20. This is a good find, technical analysis wise. right? So pwede nyo pong pasukin ito. Hopefully, mag-sustain yung MA20. So, yan, that's it for today. Medyo nagugutom na ako, so hindi po tayo mag-extend. It's 9.26. Um... Market is looking good. Eh, Nag-pull back lang si PSEI yesterday, but overall, the market is bullish. So, yan, um, nagko-consolidate na si PSEI, but overall bullish. So, it's good. Um, look for stocks na nagsusupport, and you can be aggressive. Pwede na kayo mag-test buy. Um, that's it for today. T tomorrow, we're gonna be talking about the cup and handle patterns and some other patterns, mga breakout patterns. We'll talk about patterns generally tomorrow. Right? So, we'll talk about that. So, abangan niyo po yung episode bukas. i see you again tomorrow. As always, let's get rich together. Have a great day. Seminars, guys, send me a message sa Facebook page ko po. If so, you can join that. Bye-bye. Oh.